Now at six, a man shot and killed in Kenosha has been identified as 23-year-old Sean Bialis. Bialis, a quadriplegic, made headlines three years ago for his troubled past. Ben Jordan is live at a church in Kenosha where there is a vigil being held right now to remember his life. Charles, that vigil is actually about 30 minutes away. Earlier today, I spoke with Bialis's mother who tells me she's wondering how someone could do this to a man who has no way of defending himself. Balloons, teddy bears, and candles line the staircase up to this apartment where Sean Bialis took his last breath. It ain't real. How? Why? Karen Bialis got a call Saturday night saying she needed to get to her son's apartment where he had been shot and killed. Sean loves everybody. Sean puts everybody before himself. A 15 year old is now in custody in connection to the shooting. Kenosha police tell me this is being investigated as either an accidental shooting or a murder by negligent handling of a deadly weapon. Sean couldn't even hold a gun. Bialis says her son was confined to a wheelchair, leaving him helpless in that situation. Sean had no use of his fingers after being a quadriplegic. Back in 2014, Bialis was paralyzed after corrections officers were called to his cell at the Kenosha County Jail. They were trying to place him in a restraint chair. After the incident, he was no longer able to use his legs or fingers. If my baby wouldn't have been paralyzed, he wouldn't have been here and this wouldn't have happened. Bialis says she will continue to fight for justice in the incident that left him debilitated and now the shooting that took his life. He'll never be forgotten. Sean will always be in everybody's heart and mind. <laughs> Sean is with us every day. And friends and family are already starting to gather here for a memorial service at the church. From here, they will go about a half mile away to the scene of the shooting for a candlelight vigil. Reporting live in Kenosha, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. All right, Ben, thanks. Well